hello guys i'm karthik hope you guys are doing really good so i have one api here called a random joke generator which will uh, every time you hit it will generate a random joke for us as you can see here something like i just watched a documentary about bevers bevers okay and the punchline is it was a best show i ever saw i don't understand much but yeah cool which side of the chicken are more feathers the outside of course and there's another one like what did spaghetti say about other spaghetti pasta la vista baby so this is nothing but a random joke generator so from this what i am trying to do is i will have a one button and every time i'll click on it i will generate a random joke by using the in the back end i am going to use that api right so i'll click this click me button and it should generate this uh, random joke here right so that is the idea behind it and you will get everything here i am going to put that uh, repository link in the description so that you can follow me this is my first session guys on the react and also uh, the you know uh, entire end to end application development site this is my first and we are we will hopefully we'll try to continue more on this so yeah let's get started here uh, as you can see here simply i have one uh, one beautiful uh, react app which has nothing as of now and i'm going to build everything okay that is okay cool no problem and the css part i have already kept it here i'm going to use the sections here uh, so section first section will have a button the second section will have this since i have saved everything is gone here no problem and the background you could see it is of uh, dark black okay so uh, we'll start from here to be honest with you even i need to improve much on the react and i need to improve more on the css part hopefully we'll going to improve slowly yeah cool no issues so disclaimers part is done cool so uh, i have app js here and i'm not creating much other components and i'm not going to you know transform the data from here to day via props that we'll going to handle in near future okay so all the things we are going to develop in app js only of course is a pretty simple one and this is a written statement so it should have only one tag outer tag so for that purpose i am going to use fragment simply everything i am going to render inside this fragment cool next part comes section okay so this is my first section and button something like random joke if i save it and click on it okay save uh, 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 random joke generator app js acha okay one second one second one second i think this should now you could see we got this button once i when i click on it i should get into some method so for that purpose let me create function something like get joke let's say console dot log inside get joke okay here i'm going to do on click uh, what is my function name get joke right save it go to the inspect go to the consoles clear click on it uh, 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 if i click on it i should get it right yeah now you could see inside jokes we got it that means it is going into this function that's good inside here we are going to implement the http you know uh, http related stuff over there that's cool 
then once i click on it i need to get the details here right in the down so for that purpose let me create another section this is my section here and h2 tag there's a one h2 i'm going to use and another h2 i'm going to use okay so why h2 just to show it in a bigger you know uh, very readable format that's why h2 and one for the setup and one for the punch line okay so that is what it is so to display that let me create one uh, constant let's say like jokes obj and uh, let me use this entire object okay so type is general section then punch line then id cool right now here simply as of now as of now what i will do is jokes obj uh, dot how do I access this setup? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, cool, no issues. I'm simply displaying it. So, jokes obj dot uh, setup, then something like jokes obj dot, what is that punchline? Okay, if I save this and go here, now you could see this is there but static i need to make it dynamic via our jokes api this api okay cool no issues so i need to connect both of them right no problem so basically before doing that each time i click on this button this text needs to be changed that means i need to change this text dynamically for that purpose i need a state here so i have the use state uh, so simply take something like constant joke uh, jokes set jokes object and use state initial value would be jokes obj right now here you simply use jokes dot setup jokes dot punchline now if i save and refresh now you could see initial values whatever i have i am getting them properly now it's time to build this method and once i get the response i need to set into the set jokes so that this value will get updated you know on the fly right cool here i can use uh, APIs right so in order to do that let me use fetch API okay so by the way all the APIs can be you know uh, the API can be asynchronous I mean to say like you don't have to wait let's say I have implemented a API here okay then I'm implementing then the next line can go and execute right so in order to make it asynchronous not going to wait it let me use async keyword here and here uh, fetch and here simply give this entire path okay so this is my entire part in other section uh, fetch by default is using uh, uh, get api so you don't need to mention if you want to mention some headers cookies and all either after the comma you can mention for this demo purpose i don't need anything okay so this i will keep await okay here i will keep constant response then constant data is equal to uh, response dot json because my data is coming in 
JSON format and this also can be await because you don't know exactly when the response is going to be okay so I have the data object here let's console log this and see what is there okay so I have clicked on the save it's compiling yeah it's done now if I go to my react app okay now in the console just click on the console now you could see we got the joke here if you what is that joke if you boil a clone you will get some laughing stock something okay cool no issue so we got the joke now if you see the response is id punchline setup and type which is uh, which is our uh, type setup punchline and id okay id okay punch so we will try to add it to this directly okay the help of our set jokes method here data and see what we are going to get here because I have this set jokes I need to you know uh, with the help of that I can set my jokes object so click on the save if you click on random joke again now you could see it got changed properly did you hear the story about the cheese that saved the world it was legendary diary okay maybe you can give something like setup and punchline just for our understanding purpose here you can do that not a big deal something like uh, italic how do you mention italic like this one here setup yeah setup similarly something like punchline cool did you hear this so i i can i think i can make i in other color as well it's again up to you in your css you can do that not a big deal uh, let's let's keep something like this i am i'm very bad at css actually i tag right italic i think there is something called color which you can use is maybe this save it now now you could see setup is in different color what this spaghetti say about other spaghetti pasta la vista something okay what did michael jackson name is denim stove billy jeans okay not bad i don't find it funny but yeah so this is a small demo on how we can use you know uh fetch get demo I mean to say HTTP HTTP get uh, method in react and also we have seen how we can use the state as well yeah that's all about this thank you so much for watching thank you it's me Karthik signing off